What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video we're going to be talking about the release of iOS 7 Beta 4. Now today, July 29, 2013, Apple developers went ahead and released iOS 7 Beta 4. As you can see here, I'm running it on my device. Uh, this was actually released a week late after Apple got... Uh, the Dev Center got hacked and Apple shut it offline for eight days while they were rebuilding their entire database uh, in terms of security and stuff like that. Um, but today, they finally uh, came out with it. And right here, my iPhone is running it. I'll just prove it to you by going to Settings, General, About. And as you can see here, right next to 7.0, uh, the beta build uh, in terms of numbers and letters is a bit different from what Beta 3 and previous beta releases have been. Um, now, if you'd like to go ahead and download this update, pretty much it's very simple. If you're already running iOS 7, uh, just go again, Settings, General, and this time Software Update. And as you can see, mine is currently up to date. Um, and right there, if you're on any previous beta versions, uh, except beta 1 since it already expired, but if you're not on any previous beta versions, uh, there should be a little button right here to go ahead and download uh, iOS 7 Beta 4. You can download it right from your iDevice. Uh, of course, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, you know, whatever devices um, are supported. So far, all I've seen is just very light bug fixes. A few very small UI tweaks like on the lock screen and phone and stuff like that. Um, and one of my favorite bug fixes is finally complete where if you swipe up, come back to the home screen, the the, uh, the background no longer turns black. Thank God that glitch is gone. Uh, it was so annoying and it's finally gone. One of the ones that stuck around though is with uh, Spotify uh, starting in beta 3. Um, is when you turn the volume up or down, um, the whole app crashes. This still occurs, so it's something that Spotify has to fix on their end, but that, that crash is still present. Um, and otherwise than that, it's just a few bug fixes here and there. Now, again, if you guys want iOS 7 Beta 4, if you want to go ahead and get it right now, again, you're going to have to do the settings, you know, general software update. Uh, or if you want to get it the uh, regular way, like let's say you're on iOS 6 or uh, you just want to do a regular uh, update restore thing through iTunes, uh, then there will be links in the description to go grab it. Now, I've got to tell you guys uh, a little bit um, that my source that I've been using for all the iOS betas since I think iOS 5, uh, when those betas came out, well, that site is currently down, iMod Zone Download, so I got to look around, hunt around for you guys to find a working uh, site that will provide iOS 7 beta 4 links. For now, I'm going to put the iMod Zone uh, link in the description uh, to, you know, so-called get iOS 7 beta 4 because they provide, uh, right now since their site is down, uh, they're providing a ton of other different sites that are going to be offering them. Uh, from what I've seen, they haven't just updated them uh, just yet, uh, but probably they will eventually. So be sure to check out the link in the description. I'm sorry if they're not up yet. You got to give them some time, uh, you know, as of uh, now, none are up right now. Uh, but they're working very hard to get them. And if also, if you want to figure out how to get iOS 7 beta, you know, 3, 4, any of the betas, uh, just get iOS 7 on your device now and you don't want to register your UDID. Uh, well, the glitch still works that I showed uh, like two months ago or one month ago uh, that shows exactly how to get iOS 7. That does still work. I have tried it out. Um, so you can check the link in the description that'll teach you how to get iOS 7 right now without being registered, uh, without being with the developer program, no UDID stuff. Uh, you could get it right now without having it. I have tried it on my iPad. It does work. So click the link in the description right now. You'll check it out. It should be the first link uh, to go ahead and download it. I promise that it works. Uh, I have tested it, so go check it out. And one last thing, guys. Uh, today, Apple also updated iTunes to iTunes 11.1. Now, this is a beta version, and this is only out for developers. And the only thing that it's going to provide is a few bug fixes here and there. And the main thing is going to be iTunes Radio, as you can see, uh, that I'm running it right here. Um, I went ahead and downloaded it. And so here are all my stations, and here's all the stuff that's trending and stuff like that. Um, and there will be a download link in the description, as a matter of fact, to go get this DMG. They do say developers only. However, I have tested it, and this is working fine on my MacBook Pro. I'm not a registered developer, um, and here I am running iTunes 11.1. I think I could actually show you that I'm running iTunes 11.1 uh, beta. See, there you go. You can see it right there, the 64-bit version. Uh, so there will be a download link in the description to actually go get this so you could try out iTunes Radio uh, in the iTunes application. On the Mac, this is only a uh, DMG file for Mac only. I'm pretty sure there's no Windows version out yet. Uh, so this is going to be Mac only right now. Again, there will be a link in the description to download it. It's like the only download link that's on the internet right now uh, to get iTunes 11.1. So go check it out. So there you guys go. That's pretty much it. 
that's iOS 7 Beta 4 for you and iTunes 11.1. Again, all the links, uh, how to get iOS 7 early and right now without being registered, uh, download links to iOS 7 Beta 4, and of course the download link uh, to iTunes 11.1 for iTunes Radio uh, will be down in the description. Please check out the description. Everything will be down there. If you guys like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.